Sir, I'm so glad to have you back. I was so lost without you. I mean, I had to go back to selling muffins. And you know how much I hate muffins. Yeah, whatever, Sergeant. So, are they mad? Well, you've been gone for two years, so... Yeah, they're a little mad. Alright, hand me my good toupee. Here you go, sir. Now remember, no one can find out about this. You mean that you're the leader of a secret society whose sole goal is to become rich and destroy anyone who gets in their way? What? No, I was talking about the toupee. No one can find out I wear a toupee. But yeah, I guess what you said is pretty important too. Oh, here goes nothing. Everyone, we have a lot to talk about. Anyway, hello everyone, I'm back. Now, first thing on the agenda is- The first thing on the agenda is where have you been for the last two years, Harold? So, funny story, my former friend DP kinda trapped me in a piece of paper for the last two years. Well then, how's Doodle Tuck? It kind of exploded. What? Look, I know you all put a lot of money in that, but don't worry, I have a new idea. Hear me out, Jello Pants. We're sick of your ideas, Harold. Which is why, while you were gone, we brought in someone new. New? Who? That would be me. And who are you? You all call yourselves the shadows of Seaweed City. I am simply the light of it. Mr. Light has a plan to get us all our money back. I don't care if he has the cure for fungal disease. I don't trust anyone who wears a mask. I mean, other than you guys, of course. Harold, you know the rule. No one takes off their mask. Ugh, fine. What's your plan, Light? Stupid name. It's, it's a simple six and a half month plan. It involves doodle robots, your ex-wife, and the death of Patrick Man. Half-brother, PJ. The shadows of Seaweed City send their regards. Mom, no! I know what Harold Star is, and what he's up to. Sir, we found Bubblefish. He's in pretty bad shape. Looks like he's gone into a coma. Too small. My squad! That's not Doodle Bob, it's Doodle Bot! We found this in the Doodle Bot. A pretty of Harold Star. What? Uh, sir, uh, uh, sir, uh, 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 sir, were you having another recap dream, sir? Yeah, very recappy. Anyway, there's trouble downtown. It's the evil villains against Patrick Man. I'm on it. Can I come? Sorry, PJ, but it's too dangerous. Oh, come on. When are you going to make me your sidekick? Oh, PJ, don't feel bad. Robin didn't become Batman's sidekick until he was like 12. I am 12. Oh, uh, with Neptune Swiftness away! Uh, don't fret, Master PJ. How would you like to play some good old checkers with Albert the Butler? Uh... <laughs> the Astro Cube is ours! <laughs> so anyway, why are we happy to have this again? Because my wealthy employer needs it. Now come on, let's get out of here.
Give it up, Evap. We have you surrounded. Oh, okay. Really? No. <laughs> oh, my beautiful face. Oh, not Frank. He was only doing this part-time so he could become a model. Sir, what are we gonna- ah! Oh, not Todd. He was going to... Actually, he wasn't gonna do much with his life. Give it up, Commissioner Squarepants. You can't beat us. No, but we can. League of Stars! Yeah, cred. Attack! You want some? Come and get some. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll get the one on the left, you get the one on the other left. Wait, what? Well, I guess it's just you and- Oh my Neptune! Time to get out of here. Going somewhere, Giggler? Why, as a matter of fact, I'm going up. <laughs> A tartar sauce. Nice job, League of Stars. Lieutenant Johnson and I will get these criminals back to jail. No problem, Commissioner. Well, I think we all know what we need to do now. Go out for victory tacos? Exactly. Alright, let's go! Tacos! 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 Alrighty do, Commissioner. Got those criminals locked up. Great, I'll meet you at the police station. Well, okay then. Actually, you have other business to attend to, Squarepants. Wait, I know that voice. It sounds like... Internal Affairs! Commissioner Squarepants, you need to come with us. What do you guys want? Wait, that's not the same guy as before. What happened to the other guy? He got hit by a bus. Oh! Is... he okay? No. Anyway, do you remember your old boss, Commissioner Jenkins? Of course, we have brunch on Tuesdays. But he hasn't shown up the last couple of weeks. Exactly. He's been AWOL for three weeks. He disappeared the day after we found the security tape from 23 years ago. No! No, it's hideous! Get it away! Get away! Oh, wait, sorry, wrong thing. Oh! Wait, Commissioner Jenkins knew Harold Starr was alive? And you let him go? But that's breaking the law! And Commissioner Jenkins loves the law! He legally married it two months ago! Being that you knew Jenkins the best, would you have any idea where he would be? No, but I'll make it my top priority, and I'll contact Patrick Mann right away! No! This is strict police-only matter. No superheroes. I'm looking at you, Underpants Man! I'm not a superhero, I just love running around in my trousers! La 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 la! How does that guy keep getting in here? Do you hear me, Commissioner Squarepants? No Patrick Mann. Reading you loud and clear. And so Commissioner Jenkins knew Harold Star was alive, and he might be bad, but I don't know if he's bad, and he might be bad, but I, he might be good, I don't he's Commissioner Jenkins, and I don't, I don't know what to do! Squarepants, Squarepants, breathe! Don't worry, I'll tell Starfish Man to search Starfish City. Meanwhile, I'll search around here. Ah, uh, thanks, Patrick Man. No problem, we'll find him. Yeah, we'll find him! Yeah, what, 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 PJ, what are you doing here? I stowed away in the Patmobile. What? Why didn't Albert tell me that you were gone? Because Albert doesn't know I'm gone. Son of a- Sorry for that outbreak, Master PJ. It's just, how do you keep beating me? Oh, well now I know your secret. Okay, let's do this again. Fine, let's go, PJ. Are you sure this mission is safe for a child? Commissioner, I'm not sure about anything. With Neptune's swiftness, away! Yeah, I'm just going to take the stairs. Alright everyone, before we begin this meeting, it's time to meet the new Shadows 3 and 5. Say hello, you two. Hello, it is an honor to join the Society of... You have the, the voice chip Wait, on like, the like wrong this? setting. Am I, am I it, you you right? have to switch it to, you have to switch it to 3. Am I doing no, you, this you're pressing right? the wrong... Is, is you're going pressing right? the... You're pressing right? the wrong... Stop pressing I, I, the one! I, 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 this is new to me! Can I just take 
take the mask off and- No, mask, stay on. Anyway, Shadow 5, don't even bother introducing yourself. You all look the same, what does it even matter? Hello, everyone. Light, what do you want? It's been six and a half months, which means it's time to put the final phase of my plan into action. What? But we haven't finished the Doodlebots. No, you didn't. So I improvised. I'd like to introduce everyone to my big and obviously menacing bomb, or bomb for short. In a couple of hours, I will fly over the city and drop the bomb on Star Industries, destroying it once and for all. A bomb that size could destroy half the city. This was never part of the plan. The plan was to create a bunch of doodlebots, have them destroy the building, and then we collect the insurance money and disappear. The plan changed, Harold. Besides, I wasn't the one who got caught red-handed. I found this in the doodlebot. Property of Harold Star? What? Oh. But don't worry. I know just how to fix this. Alright, PJ, you ready? We're about to go in a place where the worst of the worst hang out. So, does that mean they're really evil or just bad at being evil? Yes. Now follow my lead. Hoo Hello there, sir. Hoo -yah! Hoo -yah! Excuse me, but what are you people doing? Oh my gosh, my face! Yeah, there's more glass where that came from, criminal scum. Hey, you can't just come in here and- Oh! Huh. Take that, you diabolical horde fish kind! Uncle Pinky, is that the devil? What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was expecting something different. Oh, so you weren't expecting my nephew's fifth birthday party? Not in a bar? What's wrong with you people? What's wrong with us? You just broke my grandfather's back. Can't break what was never there. <laughs> oh no, wait, you can. Security! Oh, you see, that's more like what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. oh man, that sounded like it hurt. Blind eyed Terry, aren't you the other guy's friend? Why aren't you in there with him? Oh, I'm parking cars. Try not to park it in a lake this time, Terry. Also, Binky's nephew is kind of afraid of blind people. Whoa, it's kinda messed up. Oh no, it's just because he thinks the only reason we can't see now is because we can see the future. Well, can you? What? No! <laughs> oh, by the way, you should step to the side a little bit. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, how did you... Whoa, that was pretty close, eh, PJ? I almost got hit. Yeah... Patrick, man, it's Commissioner Squarepants. They said Bubblefish is waking up. You gotta get down here. Really? I'll be there soon. We'll have to postpone the search, PJ. I have business to attend to. I can search by myself. I don't know. Please, I know I can do this. Fine, but be back at the house by 4 o'clock. Oh, uh, you do realize it's 6 p.m. right now, right? We don't have time for this. Split up. <gasps> Okay, before Bubblefish was thrown onto that car, he said he knew where Harold Star was, and what he was up to. He could clear up everything. Then let's crack this case wide open. Rudolph Muffin Toaster Peppermint Donald Governor la la la. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Um, what the f*** was that? Commissioner, this is no time for fancy talk. I'm sorry, but he's our only lead and nothing he's saying is making sense. Yeah, he's out of the coma, but his impact to the car caused slight brain damage. Butter taco lettuce. Great, now what? Hello everyone. The shadows! Was that TV always on, or are we just drowning it out until now? Allow us to introduce ourselves. We are the shadows of Seaweed City. And for the last six and a half months, we've had Harold Star imprisoned. Yes, this is why I have been missing. I definitely have not been up to any nefarious deeds. So any... Um... Uh, you have it upside down. Oops, sorry, sir. Ah, there we go. 
So anything that might make you think that I am evil was obviously set up by these people. Uh huh! I knew when PJ found that piece in Doodle Bob that said that it was property of Harold Star, couldn't mean he was evil. You found what? Oh, did I never tell you about that? Our location is being sent to Patrick Man as we speak. Come and get him, Patrick Man. No League of Stars, no police. Just you. Shadows out. I wonder what they meant by their location being sent to us. Ugh! Hello. PJ, what happened? I got jumped by a shadow ten seconds after you left. Hey, look at his chest! The location! Then I better get going. But you can't fight them alone. I have no choice. They said no police and no League of Stars. Yeah, but they didn't say no. Huh! <laughs> to the bubble blower! Oh, come on! Even he gets to be a sidekick before me! Alright, let's go! And we're off. Great. Can you untie me now? Patrick Mans received our location. Fantastic. And what about Bubblefish? I administered some gibberish juice into his body. By the time he starts talking normal again, the plan will be finished. Great. Now let's get ready for Patrick Man to quote-unquote rescue me. I don't think so. Harold will come with me, and the rest of you will stay here. I thought the point of this was to distract Patrick Man. It is. This is also a great opportunity for an ambush. When he gets here, kill Patrick Man. But that wasn't- Do what I say, Shadow, and I promise you a hefty reward. Come on, Harold. Let's get going. Okay. Alright, Commissioner Squarepants, are you ready? Yeah, PJ, are you ready? Yeah, Albert, are you ready? Yeah, w w Albert, what are you doing here? You summoned me when you pressed the help button on your phone. You must have, PJ, I thought I left you at the house. Oh man, I must have butt-dialed you. Wait, we weren't supposed to bring anyone else? Because I kinda also brought Detective Bushes. Hello. They said no cops! Oh, don't worry, Bushes is definitely not a detective anymore. Especially after what happened with those sardines. <laughs> Still can't get the images out of my head. Those bottom feeders had it coming. I swear if one more random character shows up, I am going to lose it! Yeah, I'm just going to go then. Albert, please tell me you at least brought a weapon. Sir, the only weapons I need are these. Uh, and also this gun. Cool, can I get a weapon? Yeah, I have this. Oh, uh, yay. No. Attack! Huh, weird. I was kind of expecting an ambush. Oh no, I'm out of ammo! I'm out of bubbles! And I'm out of screwdriver! Don't worry everyone, I still have my bush. Oh. Don't worry, we can take him! Okay, maybe worry a little. What do we do now? No, we dispose of them. Wait, maybe we can talk this out, uh, have a little brunch? No thanks. What are you doing? Doing what I should have done 23 years ago. Hey, yeah! Uh, thanks. Why did you help us? Because. It's my duty. <gasps> Commissioner Jenkins? Yes, it's me. Now, quick, we need a. Commissioner Jenkins? You're a shadow? Wait, did you shoot my mom? No, there was average Jew, whom I did shoot. Anyway, we need to leave. No, I am not leaving here without an explanation. It all started 23 years ago. I was working in the police station as a young, handsome lieutenant. Hey, Lieutenant Jenkins, looking good. All I wanted to be was commissioner. Mainly because the current commissioner was less than ideal. Hey Jenkins, the commissioner wants to see you. 
You wanted to see me, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Jenkins, please come in. Jenkins, as you know, I am an incredibly corrupt commissioner. Yes, sir. You said that many times. Anyway, my friends and I are going to be robbing Seaweed City Bank later tonight, which means I want you to patrol as far away from there as you can. Do you understand? Huh. Yes, sir. Sir, we just found a body on Cod Street. Yellow gills, blue eyes, and wearing a fedora? Yeah, how did you- Um, uh, back to work, gentlemen. So I did what I was told, and patrolled as far away as I could, which in this case was the Seaweed City Docks. Sergeant, where did you put my loofahs? Huh? What's that? Sorry, sir, I don't recall. How am I supposed to take showers on a deserted island without my loofahs? Freeze! You're not allowed to be out here this late! Wait, Harold Star? You're supposed to be dead! Don't worry, Sergeant. I'll handle this. <clears throat> uh, this is a dream. Ah, joke's on you! I can no longer dream! Especially after what happened in the Great Pacific War of 1963. I'm calling this in! Wait, no, we don't need to do that, do we? <laughs> uh, um... Hello, this is Lieutenant Jenkins, and I need to report something. Wait, you're a lieutenant? I'm really good friends with the mayor. If you let me go, I promise I can make you commissioner. Jenkins! Jenkins! Um, on second thought, false alarm. Keep talking. I don't know what Harold did, but the next day the commissioner was transferred to Kelp City, and I became the new one. That still doesn't explain why you're a shadow. A couple years later, Harold called me up and offered me a place with the shadows. I figured I'd join to keep an eye on him. Everything's been fine until recently, when the light showed up. The light? That's what he calls himself. He has a plan that could destroy half this city. What's his plan? He's gonna drop a bomb on it! Butchers, go to the police station and gather as many cops as you can find. We might need them. Yes, sir. Hurrah! You mean like flying a plane and... That kind of drop? Precisely. Sir, do you know what this means? Uh, um, 24? What? No. If he needs to fly a plane, he'll have to use the municipal airport outside the town. Of course! Jenkins, how long does it take before that plane's going off? Well, about 12 seconds. I only need 20. To the airport! Do. What, what what just happened? Did I just have another hot flash? Nope, just 1960s transition. And, uh, I don't know, magic or something? Okay, now where's that plane? <laughs> Drat, we missed it. It's up to Patrick Man now. Wait, where's Albert? Huh. I made it. Hello, sir. Albert, what are you doing here? Oh, well, this is where I appeared after you did that transition thing. Going somewhere, Patrick man? Well, 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 well. Too many wells. Yeah, you're right. I, I just didn't know where to stop. Hey, shouldn't you all be in jail? Where'd you get out? You can thank the light for that. Oh no, what's the plan, sir? Well, it's all of them versus the two of us, so... <laughs> Oh, come on! Get them! <laughs> Sir, that was very... Sir? But look, the bomb! Can you disarm it? Please, sir, I went to Harvard. So, no, I can't. What? What do you want from me? I majored in philosophy. And now you're a butler, so look how that turned out. That is a very low blow, sir. Open up, Patrick man, or we're coming in by force. Um... Patrick Man is it here? It's just me. Uh, girl lady. Oh, I'm well, sorry to bother you. Wait a minute, you're trying to trick us. Someone get this door open. Um, sir, according to this, we only have ten minutes before this bomb goes off. We have to get to the front of the plane and steer it off its path. Well, there is this hatch up here that leads to the top of the Perfect! Wait, sir, what are you doing? No, 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 no! Yeah. Ah! 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 Come on, Albert, to the front of the plane! I so better get a raise after this! Yeah! Meow! 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 He'll be fine. Probably. Hey, the drop button! Huh? 
Huh. Drop button deactivated. Now they can't drop the bomb on the city. Yes, but that also means we're trapped on a plane with a ticking bomb. Oh. Hey, look, an escape pod! What's that sound? Oh no, the plane has a failsafe code. It's now on a collision course with Star Industries. Let's stop it! How do you work a plane? Lucky for you, I test flew planes back in the Great Pacific War of 1963. But I'm afraid the only way to stop any damage from happening to the city is if I stay on this plane and manually fly it into the air. But we don't have a choice. Besides, there's only room for one fish in that escape pod, and it needs to be you. Approximately four minutes until collision with Star Industries. No, I'm not leaving you. You are strong and wise, and I am very proud of you, Patrick. <gasps> you got that from Star Wars. Yes, I finally watched all nine last week. Also, are you sure that those last three aren't part of the canon and just fan fiction? 100%, no doubt. Huh. Maybe after all this, you'll come back as a force ghost. <laughs> Just don't make it stupid. Sir, so that's not even a... You know, maybe I will. Goodbye, Obert. Goodbye, Master Star. Please, just call me Master Mr. Dr. Professor Star. No, fair enough. Uh, uh, no, I can't let you do this. I'm not about to stand here and let you... There are cookies in the escape pod. Really? Cookie, 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 cookie! Hey, there are any cookies in here? Goodbye, sir. No, Albert, wait! No, Albert, Albert, Albert! Don't worry there, son. Everything will be alright. Really? Eh, probably not. You're what? A superhero! Hey, Albert, check me out! Sir, I don't think you should have weapons in the house. Oh, yeah! It's like what you always say, follow your dreams. Not once in my entire life have I ever seen Not so fast! Meet my new sidekick, Albert Man! If I die, I'm so going to quit this job. What out here could possibly be black? Well, that. <laughs> quick, abandon ship! Yo! <laughs> What do you want me to say, Albert? Do you want me to tell you how you've been like a father to me? Or how you made me the starfish I am today? Or how I cherish you over anyone else in my entire life? Actually, yeah, that was perfect. Okay, this is a little bit more techy than what I'm used to. No matter, I can do this. Uh, 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 uh. My goodness, how long does it take to charge this thing? Oh, I'm sorry, but is my 300,000 degree death ray taking too long to charge up? Ah! Ah! Oh my crumb cakes! Ah! Oh, gotta get off this thing! They... They did it! But where are they? Huh. Didn't they get in, you Patrick man? What the hell of it was that? What is it, Harold? Star Industries was supposed to be destroyed, and then we take the insurance money. That's the whole reason we had to get rid of my ex-wife, remember? Well, it wasn't part of your plan, but it was always part of mine. Patrick Man is dead, which means our business is concluded. I knew I could never take down Patrick Man myself, but I knew I could get him to sacrifice himself. Who are you? Oh, Harold, you haven't figured it out? I'm an old friend. A very old friend. DP? You're supposed to be trapped in paper! Silly, Harold. I made two doodle guns. I used one to try to take out Patrick Man, and gave the other to my accomplice. Accomplice? Sergeant, how could you? Sorry, sir. You were gone for so long, and I couldn't go back to the muffin business. It was too cutthroat. And to think I gave you that heart for that heart transplant. I mean, it wasn't my heart, but still. 
We had a good run, Harold. But you're no use to me anymore. Take him out. You won't get away with this. The shadows- The shadows? Really? They're a little too busy turning on each other. See? We had to have your men. Jacob's betrayed us. Call me back! It's over, Harold. Your shadows can't save you. You're right. My new ones can't. My old one, however... Huh? <laughs> Quick, get him! Uh-oh. Ah! Hello. Joe, I thought he was dead. I never trusted you, Light. I made it look like he died. Just like Bubblefish. But Bubblefish did almost die. Yeah, Joe was actually supposed to bring him on a helicopter to the Bahamas, but uh, things got a little lost in the translation. Sadly, I thought he was just giving me code to push Bubblefish off the building. My bad. No matter. You can't beat me, Harold. No. At least not right now. But we'll be back, DP. See ya! <laughs> so we're here to, uh, we missed it, didn't we? Need some help? Uh, thanks, uh... Mom? Alright, as far as we know, Patrick Mann is gone. We are what is left to bring the light to justice. Thanks to Jenkins, we know where the light is. So I'll head over to the police station and gather as many officers as I can. Meanwhile, uh, Denzel, was it? It's PJ. You get into contact with the League of Stars. We'll meet you at that location. For Patrick Mann. For Patrick Mann. So you faked your death? And you're a shadow? Your father was suspicious about Light from the beginning. Luckily, Light didn't know I was shadow number one. So I was able to get PJ to you before we faked my death. I had to die so we could see where Light's plan was going. No kid, I thought shadows were supposed to be bad. Who are you guys? Originally, we were just a fun club that your father had put together to help him with side projects. But when your father faked his death, he turned us into an investment opportunity. We all put in millions into his doodle tech idea, but we never saw a penny back from it. How long have you known that I was Patrick Man? Well, I wasn't 100% sure until a couple of minutes ago when you called me Mom. Oh, drat. So, what's the Light's new plan? From what we could gather, Light's plan was to destroy Star Industries. Then Harold collects the insurance money after Patrick Man saves him from the shadows. But Light changed the plan. Which is why we changed ours, too. Oh my goodness, who is that guy? What are you talking about? We've met before. Remember the whole thing about the Star Family Diamond? No, I don't think I remember seeing that episode. Episode? You lived that! Wait, but Commissioner Jenkins betrayed all of you! All part of the plan to make Light think that the plan wasn't part of the plan, even though it actually was. The perfect plan. Speaking of Light, I kinda know who he is. Who? He's D.P. The Dread Patrick? You guys don't call him that? He's supposed to be trapped in paper! He got out, thanks to the help of one of my own men. Now, who's ready to take down D.P.? Please just call him the Dreaded Patrick. Yeah, you take all the fun out of it. You see, this is why I fake killed her. I'm starting to think my parents are a little weird. Oh my, Neptune! What happened to my house?! Yeah, we should get out of here. Alright, I need everyone... Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Bushes, what happened? We all ate some of Lieutenant Johnson's chili, and now we feel sick. Oh. Hey there, Commissioner. Want some chili? What? No, this is terrible. We need firepower to take out the light. I guess you and I will have to do. Come on. Okie dokie, I'll be there in a jiffy. Squarepants is coming, but don't expect too many reinforcements. <laughs> Johnson, are you coming? Yes, sir, Commissioner.
So it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty-three to four. Oh, gee, it's fifty-four. You forgot about the short guy in the back. <laughs> League of Stars. This is your one and only warning. Leave now or be destroyed. Don't worry, I'll handle this. <clears throat> Counter offer? We stay here and you turn yourself in. Fire. Sure, somebody's finding Jenkins downtown. Get the car ready. We got him. Okay, is anyone here impervious to blasters? I am, as long as they don't hit me in the face. Ugh! This looks like a job for a hero. Or in this case, a sidekick. Hiya! <laughs> Whoops, sorry PJ. It's hard to see with all these people on the Patmobile. Oh, also our mom is alive. P PJ? Uh... PJ? Why have you all stopped firing? Well, sir, it's villain law that if a hero gets back up during the fight, the villains have to wait for them to get together. What? Just get them. Okay, but you're the one who's gonna have to deal with HR. Happy place, happy place, happy place, happy place. Wait, where's Commissioner Squarepants? He should be here soon with reinforcements. I'll give him a call. We're almost there, Jenkins. So, Commissioner, why did we stop? I need to do something quick. Um, what are you doing? It's about your chili. I ran some tests on it while we were in the car. Wait, while you were driving? There was a huge trace of tartarimus in it. You poisoned the chili. Why? Let's just say, the police paid fine. But the Dread Patrick paid more. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, what was that? That make that look so much easier in the movies. It's Commissioner Squarepants, Jenkins. I'm on my way. Patrick Man? I don't know how you survived that explosion, but you won't survive this. Surrender or die, Patrick Man. Never! Freeze, Jenkins! You're under arrest by order of internal affairs. Uh, we're kinda in the middle of something. What do you mean you're in the middle of- Um, sir? What, what? Oh... Um... Let's just put a pin in this for now. Now where were we? Wait, where's Jenkins? Oh, yeah! ah, get, get him off! Get, get him off! Whoops. They're distracted! Attack! Oh, pit punch! Pit punch! Pit punch! hi yeah. <laughs> I got you now. Oh. Yeah, they didn't used to call her metalhead Margie for nothing. Sir, they're distracted. This will be a perfect time for you to escape. It's almost done. Not yet. I have work to do. Stay here and guard this room. <laughs> Ugh, I've never pit punched this much before. Oh no! Ugh. End of the line, Jenkins! <laughs> How are we ever gonna get in there? If only someone could get us a path in. Ah! Yeah, look out! Ah! Huh? Oh, my sweet baby Triton. Ah! Wait, did you just call me dad? Oh, look, a path in. We should go and definitely not talk about what I just said. Huh, we're in. Nice job, Commissioner Squarepants. No, let's get the dreaded Patrick! Yeah! yeah! Oh no. Get 
get ready to fire, men. Don't worry. I'll handle this. Sergeant, think. You're not the Dread Patrick monkey puppet. Remember who you really are. Huh? Muffins, muffins, get your nice warm muffins. Well, 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 look who it is, if it isn't the Sarge. I thought we made it clear that Kipling was our street. But you can't call a street. This is fair game. I think I just did. Tip the cut, boys. Yeah. <laughs> my, my muffins. Well, you little. <laughs> I love laughing at other people's expense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Wow, you beat up those children like they were nothing. Say, how would you like to be my head of security? Depends. Does it involve muffins? Uh, not usually. Well, then I'm in. Hold your fire, man. He's right. Go ahead. DP is in the other room, sir. Thanks, Sergeant. It's over, Dread Patrick, and what is that? You think that's cool? Where do you get a load of this? <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, that, that's hard to look at. When you throw the dreaded Patrick into me to stop an explosion from spreading, you accidentally combined our bodies. It's taken me months to find out how to control him. But now that I have control, I'll be able to activate my Dimension Merger Machine, powered by the Astro Cube. <laughs> You're gonna merge our dimensions with another one? Not just any dimension, the Doodle Dimension, turning the whole world into one big doodle. <laughs> Warming up complete, commencing Dimension Merger. It's begun! <laughs> Hello? Commissioner, what's happening in there? Our friends in the CIA just informed us that the Earth is turning into paper. I'm saying you how long we have. Oh no, we only have five minutes before the whole Earth is turned into paper! What? <laughs> That's bad, right? <laughs> no! Uh, huh, uh, uh, I don't know how to stop it! Harold, you worked with the dreaded Patrick. Maybe you can shut down the machine. Me? I, I, I couldn't. I, I wouldn't even- Come on, Harold. You can do this. I trust you. But how can I trust you? Because... Uh, uh, it's me. <gasps> Pippi? Yeah, w wait. It's Patrick. All right, it was your mother who wanted to name you Pippi. Don't worry, son. I'm off to save the world. Now, time to button mash this thing. Wait. Patrick Mann is Patrick Star? I never would have seen that coming. Okay, bad news. I can't stop it. However, it can help us live to fight another day. Everyone, into the machine. Okay. Ugh, let's do this. Up to Patrick Man now. Rose Bud. Yeah. Okay, Mom, you're next. Mom? No! Mom! Son, it's too late. We need to get out of here. Ugh. You're right. Ugh. Ugh. Dad? Are you sure about this? Don't worry. I'm right behind. <laughs> oh my goodness! Dead. Let go of me, you weird doodle friend, Patrick dreaded thing. You're not going anywhere. Pippi, I, I mean Patrick, go. But just go. Okay, here goes something. Uh, uh. <laughs> Meanwhile. Uh, money, money, money. Hey, Patrick, thought I should bring you some brain food. 
You know, to help you write that new Patrick Man comic. Anyway, how's it going? Great, this thing practically writes itself. Oh, that's great. No, really, it writes itself. Pages just keep appearing out of nowhere. What? Let me see that. That's weird. Oh, 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 what's oh, happening? Oh, oh, SpongeBob, what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Where am I? <laughs> Excuse me, but I ordered extra ketchup and you didn't give me any, so... Hello? Hello? Well, somebody is getting one star.